Beautiful place, beautiful lake, beautiful mountains. What's happening here? Everything is just absolutely awesome. Is the ugly side of Lake Tahoe. The beauty is unmatched anywhere in the world. God! And what's going on is very controversial. Homeowners not really being, they're a little bit absentee to the ramifications of them and their renters. There are thousands of short-term rental homes around Lake Tahoe, and the people who stay in them assume they're safe, but sometimes they're anything but. It's frustrating, especially since we just had a death of uh, something that could have been easily prevented. You see them on the online websites, homes that advertise they sleep 16, 18, and 20 people. Photos show they're bunking several people in just one bedroom. 43, does 43 go into six? Full-time incline resident Kristen Farrell has seen it. There's a home down the street from us where I have seen 17 cars. I can't imagine how many people came up in each of those cars. The North Lake Tahoe Fire Protection District is concerned. We know there is some residents that are sleeping in lofts right now, and they just not, might not be aware that their window doesn't open big enough for them to get out, or they should have a smoke detector in every bedroom on, in their, on every floor also. Washoe County does not require homeowners who rent out their houses on a short-term basis to get permits or require a fire safety inspection, which could restrict occupancy. The fire department estimates there are more than 1,000 short-term rentals in Washoe County, about 940 scattered in the trees of Incline Village in Crystal Bay. The planning and development manager says they've only received a few complaints about fire safety. Most of the time what we're going to hear the complaints about is not that you have too many people in a unit, it's going to be the people that are in that unit are doing something else. They're parking on the street, they're making loud noise. And the county will do a safety inspection if they get a specific complaint. The fire marshal argues the homeowners and renters don't necessarily know about safety regulations. You mean there's a kid up there? That was most likely the case of this Incline Village fire that killed a 19-year-old in August 2016. There was no smoke detector in the loft and no way to get out. He was by the window. You can see it was open, but he was, it was too small for him to be able to escape. The fire marshal argues if safety inspections would have been mandated, the fire and the teen's death may not have happened. Mark Regan would like to see Washoe County enforce tougher regulations. To see the other side of the coin, come to the other side of the lake. South Lake Tahoe has some very strict requirements. It will find both the homeowner and the renter $1,000 for any violation. South Lake Tahoe has one full-time inspector and eight community service officers who cite homeowners year-round. They've handed out about 600 citations and warnings so far this year. Trash, noise, and occupancy are common violations. Ultimately, it affects our neighborhoods. Uh, we have to be responsive to the people who live here. The program pays for the staff, but Washoe County says it doesn't have the money for a similar program. Right now we're good the way it is. But here's something else. Short-term rentals are not even listed in Washoe County's code. Technically, they're not allowed. The county allows them anyway. As for the safety regulations, property management companies think we can do it better rather than bringing in a new regulation. Don't want tougher rules the fire department's been pushing. We're working in conjunction with them with an educational-based campaign. The fire department says education might not be enough because there's no accountability behind it. They're worried there may be another death before more is done. At Lake Tahoe, Kim Burroughs reporting.